Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Sidekick Power Hour. My name is Nakia. This is Josh. And we are here doing a Soul Web Fest special edition of the Sidekick Power Hour tonight. And we're so glad that you joined us. And we uh, have some other folks who are going to join us. But first, Josh, what's going on here? Well, we are so excited to have Demon Doctor in this year's Soul Web Fest. This is the first time that Demon Doctor is going to be part of the Soul Web Fest, and hopefully we'll be there many, many more times as we produce many, many more seasons of the show. But uh, tonight we're going to chat with some of the people who helped make this wonderful show and find out a little bit about how that happened. Awesome. Well, let's get right to it. Let's introduce to the show uh, Mark Eugene Garcia and Ashley Monique Menard. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi, everybody. Um, so, Mark Eugene, uh, tell us what Demon Doctor is about. Demon Doctor is a uh, homage to old old horror and uh, and a little bit of camp. Um, it's about a demonologist and a detective who are solving crimes throughout the city that may or may not involve the supernatural. Nice. And Josh, how did you come up with the idea for this show? Well, when I was sitting down uh, to make a new show after our other show, Skeleton Crew, I thought, I thought, well, maybe it's time to embrace something that I love and I really have always wanted to work on, which is 90s genre fiction. Um, I grew up loving Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel and Charmed and all those wonderful shows. And I thought, well, let's see what I can do with this, but make it body positive and gay. That's right. <laughs> uh, and why not? Why not? I mean, basically, I remember when you approached me with it, you were like, it's X-Files and Buffy, but very gay and campy. So um, th that that is exactly what we arrived at. Now, Ashley, tell us a little bit about the character that you play on the show. I play this simple and sweet lady named <laughs> Genevieve, who is a sorceress and has a plan and she'll do whatever she has to do to get what she wants. She's a woman in control. She she does seem like a woman in control to me, although it did seem uh, during season one that there were moments that we saw uh, her beginning to, to lose a little control, and that was very frustrating for Jenny. I don't recall those moments. <laughs> <laughs> She's a woman in control. Uh, Mark Eugene, uh, what was it like starting production on this show, and, and have you ever done anything like this before? Uh, I haven't. It's uh, it was really exciting in the sense that it was very different from uh, Skeleton Crew, um, playing a uh, a very different character, and so it was really exciting. And to get the the full season and to see how much this character was going to grow and how much all these characters were really going to change throughout this entire season, it was really exciting. I, I couldn't wait the entire time. As soon as I read it, I'm like, I cannot wait to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I was the same way, absolutely, both as uh, an actor, because I'm uh, fortunate enough to be a cast member of the show, but also for the music. I, I you know, I, I was, you know, a big fan of 90s music, 90s television shows, um, and horror in, in particular is, uh, has a very uh, big soft spot in my heart. So uh, I was really excited to bring some of this uh, to the show musically. Um, Ashley, what are some of your favorite parts of Genevieve as a character? Oh, um, some of my favorite parts, Josh knows I like to do accents, and so, he incorporated that in Demon Doctor to where Genevieve has a, a specific French accent that is only of her and her specific region of windshield. <laughs> anyway, I won't get, I won't get too method into it for you. But um, so Josh also gave me the opportunity to switch into different characters and switch into different dialects, which he knows. It's my sweet spot. I enjoy that. Pretty much. I mean, it's wigs and accents with Ashley. She loves both. So <laughs> so she's a drag queen. Okay, great. She All is right. a drag queen for sure, I think. So. <laughs> Uh, well, there's definitely a lot of great characters on the show, and Josh, you've done a fantastic job of writing uh, the show and casting it, and we have some more cast members that we definitely want to bring in. Uh, so let's welcome uh, to the show here uh, Barbara Thomas, uh, Stuart Kicek, uh, and Paul is in the other room with you, Josh, so <laughs> um, just across the uh, the apartment there. He's in the kitchen. Um, yeah, <laughs> where where he usually is when we're on the phone, I'll say, "Where's Paul? He's cooking." 
Uh, so welcome to the show, That's folks. True. Barbara, uh, tell us about the character that you play in Demon Doctor. I have the honor of playing Madame Ruby, but her accent, I'm not really good with accents. And Ashley, thank God, was on set when I was filming my first accent day. Um, and she said, that sounds horrible. That just <laughs> sounds awful. Um, so with her guidance, Madame Ruby, Ruby is uh, figuring out where she is. But she's basically a woman who with a second sight. And I believe she's the maternal figure on the show as much as she can be. Yeah. She loves, she loves everybody. The best part about your accent, though, is because the character, um, the way it's written, uh, you know, you get to drop the accent all the time. Thank and God. It's such, a, it's such a funny part of the show. And it was one of my favorite parts of the quarantine episode uh, that we filmed that uh, if you want to check out, you can go back to demondoctor.com. It'll take you so you can stream all of season one of Demon Doctor, but you can also see the, the little mini episode that we shot right in the comfort of our own homes. Um, Stuart, tell us about the character you play on Demon Doctor. I'm fortunate enough to get to play Barf on the show, and it sort of fulfills this uh, career-long aspiration to get to play a, a number two or a henchman uh, to a bad guy and uh, to kind of be the mini-boss of the whole adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You, you're, you're definitely, uh, you qualify for mini-boss status, I think. That, that is, yeah. I, hadn't, I hadn't given that any thought. Uh, and then, Paul, uh, who are you playing in Demon Dog? I have the honor of playing Xander. Xander is a very interesting character. He's on a never ending quest to find the perfect sandwich and is, uh, yeah, he's very horny while he's doing it. But yeah, that's pretty much sums it up. I mean, okay, this is. I know, I know what pleases people wigs and accents for Ashley and sandwich and horniness for Paul. So it's, it's sandwiches and sex for Paul. But Paul, that's not all you do on the show. Mm -hmm. You're also the person behind the incredible makeup effects uh, on our show. Tell us about how you created Barth and Groblatz uh, or anybody else that, that you want to talk about. Basically, what I do is uh, I just take a bunch of different uh, makeups and I throw them all together until I get something that kind of resembles in my head what I want to do. Oh, so and, you're uh, a drag queen too. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one step away. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And what about you, Nikki? I mean, tell us about the character you play on the show. Well, um, I play uh, a character named Yakimo who is. Um, a medical examiner, and um, he is um, the uh, the guy in the trenches in the morgue, um, you know, who is getting all of the dead bodies, uh, and everybody thinks he's just a normal guy, uh, but then it turns out that I'm also a demon, um, and that I have been cursed by another demon to uh, the only way I can stay alive is by absorbing the energy of, of dead bodies, but I have to do that sexually. <laughs> so um, it is uh, quite uh, an interesting, when I say in the show, when my character says that, that he has an appetite, it's, it's, it's not for food. <laughs> so it's definitely um, a lot of fun to play. Um, I auditioned for three characters. Um, I auditioned for uh, Mark, and I also auditioned uh, for the, the main villain of season one, or the featured villain of season one, should I say, uh, Gourmand. Um, and, you know, I was thinking, Josh, maybe in a, a, an upcoming episode of Psychic Power Hour that we could show some of these uh, auditions from some of the other uh, characters that some of us might, might have read for. Absolutely. That'd be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah. Uh, now, um, but you also do, you also play it, but don't go too far because you also do another role like Paul. Paul is very, very, very important because he makes our show look amazing. But you're very, very important because you make our show sound amazing. So oh. tell us about that. Well, thanks. Well, uh, I am first and foremost a musician, and a, a singer, and a songwriter, and um, I got involved with scoring uh, music for and, and adding uh, sound design for Skeleton Crew in season four. And um, magically uh, became part of the same, you know, moved to that same role uh, into Demon Doctor 
uh, and I'm super proud of the work that, that I've done with Demon Doctor. It's definitely uh, been almost more fulfilling than the Skeleton Crew work because I'm starting at episode one. With Skeleton Crew, yeah. I have to kind of come in later, um, but I get to set the tone for the entire um, show musically um, and, and with sound. And uh, I will say that when we, we had the premiere um, in New York City, uh, for, for season one, I was so happy to hear the reactions from the rest of the cast of the sound design and the music. It, it really let me know that, that I was on the right path. Uh, and I think that uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think it would be fun to just have like a separate album of just all of the, the songs that I create for Demon Doctor for our fans. So cool. Straight yeah. so cool. I buy the Demon Doctor record. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so um, enough about me. Uh, now, what are some of the most challenging aspects of making the series, Josh? Um, I Well, we are a very small uh, company, and we have a, a skeleton crew of cast and crew uh, <laughs> behind the camera and in front of it. Uh, I, I think that one of the, the hardest parts is just how many hats we all have to wear. I mean, like, I, like we talked about already, Paul and you both do two very big and demanding roles right. on and off camera. Uh, I do a couple things off camera, and I do a couple things on camera. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, uh, and then it's just simply, uh, it's simply. I mean, this is a, this is actually it's a shorter show than what we do with one of our other series, Skeleton Crew. It's, it's a lot shorter, but I think the work involved in terms of producing it is a lot more intense because of all the makeup effects and all the, the special, um, well, this especially the, the choreography and everything like that, the fight choreography and things that we never had to do before. It's, 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 a, it's a new, we had to learn a whole new system of making a show because it was something that none of us had really ever done before a show. Like, like Mark said, I'd never done a show like this before. Um, this is, this was something that, and, Whenever I do something new for the first time, I always jump in with both feet without looking to see where I'm going. And no. that's what happens. But Barbara, wouldn't you say that's one of the one of the things that we all love about Josh is how he totally commits to what he sees as his vision, regardless of whatever obstacles might be in the way, he's gonna do it regardless. Sure. I, I would say that is one of the things that we admire about Josh. But really what I what I really love about Josh is that I think he creates the most interesting, intriguing characters for everybody to, to portray. Like I'm I'm only the single hyphenate. I'm or I'm a non hyphenate. I'm just an actor. So I come to the set, you know, and I just act. And like, oh I can do that accent. Anyway, um we're creating one of Josh's um, women. Um, I'm very lucky to get one of them. And um, it's one of the, I, I really love his writing. I love it. Um, Stuart, you also uh, pull double duty behind the scenes sometimes uh, with shooting as well as helping with editing. Um, what do you think has been the most challenging thing about um, creating and, and shooting and, and putting out Demon Doctor? Getting nailing an aesthetic that is true to the sense of this genre and to go for that kind of camp with a seriousness approach, but kind of tr trying to be have a frivolity about it. It's right. kind of, you know, tricky tight rope to walk uh, to make it half silly, half serious, but, you know, trying to nail this very certain specific aesthetic. And it's just to get incorporate all those elements into the what you see on screen. And that's what's tough. Yep, I agree. And Mark Eugene, where can folks uh, who have not seen Demon Doctor yet see it? Um, on YouTube, uh, if you stream, you could stream uh, Demon Doctor at www.demondoctor.com. That's right. Uh, I, yeah, I can read. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I cast. That's good. Yeah. That, Good. That, that helps with learning your lines. You um, give me all those words. Yeah. <laughs> uh, learn by reading. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is next for Demon Doctor? What is next for Demon Doctor? Well, um, after appearing in the wonderful Soul Web Fest, uh, we are 
waiting for the world to settle down a little bit so we can jump right into production on season two of Demon Doctor. We had the cast ready to go. We have scripts ready to go. We have everything we need ready to go. We just need life to find a way, as they say in that classic 90s television comedy, movie comedy, Jurassic Park. Yes. Comedy. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's right. Ah, dinosaurs. Ah, ha. Yeah. Well, um, we will find a way. Um, as you uh, at home might know already, we've already been finding ways because, as I mentioned earlier, we already did one mini episode uh, as we've all been quarantined uh, across the uh, across the country, basically. Um, and if we have to, we'll do another one, dang it. But for now, we've got to say goodbye to everybody. Thank you again for all of you hopping on today to film this very special edition of the Psychic Power Hour for the Soul Web Fest. Uh, we do this uh, show, the Psychic Power Hour, every Monday uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, we are so glad uh, that we um, made it into the Soul Web Fest. We hope you enjoy Demon Doctor. And of course, um, if you love Demon Doctor, please go check out Skeleton Crew and the other um, many, many things that uh, the Sidekick uh, Productions folks are involved in. Uh, so everybody say bye to, to the folks in Seoul. Bye. 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 Bye.